Nestled in the heart of Europe, Croatia is a nation with a rich and diverse history that spans thousands of years. From its ancient roots to its modern identity as an independent state, Croatia has witnessed the ebb and flow of empires, the emergence of distinctive cultures, and the struggles for autonomy. This video aims to explore the multifaceted history of Croatia, tracing its evolution from ancient times to the present day. Ancient Croatia The roots of Croatia can be traced back to the ancient Illyrians who inhabited the region around 2000 BCE. This early civilization laid the foundation for the diverse cultural mosaic that would characterize the area in the centuries to come. The Illyrians engaged in trade with the Greeks and Romans, leaving behind archaeological remnants that provide glimpses into their social and economic structures. Roman influence. The Roman Empire, with its expansionist ambitions, left an indelible mark on the region as it incorporated Illyria into its vast dominion. The Romans introduced urbanization, infrastructure, and the Latin language to the area, shaping the cultural landscape of what would later become Croatia. Cities like Salona, present-day Solin, emerged as bustling centers of trade and culture. The Migration Period and Early Medieval Croatia, with the decline of the Roman Empire, the migration of various tribes, including the Slavs, Avars, and Croats, reshaped the socio-political landscape of the region. The Croats, an Indo-European people, arrived in the 7th century and established their own independent principality under the rule of local chieftains. The state of Dalmatia, heavily influenced by Roman and Byzantine traditions, became a significant cultural and political center during this period. Croatia under Hungarian and Ottoman rule. In the late medieval period, Croatia experienced a series of shifts in political allegiance. The Kingdom of Hungary exerted its influence over Croatia through various dynastic unions. However, this relationship was not always harmonious, leading to intermittent struggles for autonomy. The Ottoman Empire, expanding from the southeast, posed a significant threat to Croatia during the 15th and 16th centuries. The Battle of Mohacs in 1526 marked a turning point as Hungary fell under Ottoman control and Croatia became a battleground between the Habsburgs and the Ottomans. The Union with Austria in 1527, the Croatian parliament elected Ferdinand but fun of the Habsburg dynasty as their king, forging a union with the Habsburg monarchy that would last for centuries. This decision was driven by the desire for protection against Ottoman incursions. The Habsburgs, recognizing Croatia's strategic importance, integrated the country into their empire, bringing about a period of stability and economic development. However, tensions between the Croatian nobility and the Habsburgs persisted, leading to periodic uprisings and clashes. The Illyrian Movement and National Revival the 19th century witnessed the rise of nationalistic sentiments across Europe, and Croatia was no exception. The Illyrian movement, inspired by the idea of a South Slavic unity, sought to revive and promote Croatian language, culture, and identity. Intellectuals and writers played a crucial role in fostering a sense of national consciousness, paving the way for the Croatian national revival the Habsburg Monarchy, and the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. Croatia's position within the Austro-Hungarian Empire continued until the aftermath of World War I. The disintegration of empires and the creation of new nation-states in the aftermath of the war reshaped the geopolitical landscape of Southeast Europe. Croatia, along with other South Slavic regions, became part of the Kingdom of Serbs, Croats and Slovenes in 1918, later renamed the Kingdom of Yugoslavia in 1929. World War II and the Independent State of Croatia 
World War II brought profound changes to Croatia as the Axis powers occupied the region. The Ustaz, a fascist and ultra-nationalist movement, established the independent state of Croatia, NDH, in 1941 under German and Italian patronage. The NDH, led by Ante Pavelic, engaged in widespread persecution, including the genocide of Serbs, Jews and Roma. This dark chapter in Croatia's history remains a sensitive topic, and debates over the country's role during this period persist. The Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia After World War II, Croatia became one of the six constituent republics of the Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, led by Josip Broz Tito. Tito's regime sought to balance the interests of the diverse Yugoslav nations, but tensions simmered beneath the surface. Croatia experienced economic development and industrialization during this period, but calls for greater autonomy and recognition of national identity persisted. The Dissolution of Yugoslavia and the Homeland War the late 20th century marked a turbulent period for Croatia as the Yugoslav Federation began to unravel. The fall of communism and the rise of nationalist sentiments fueled ethnic and political tensions. In 1991, Croatia declared independence, leading to the Homeland War, a conflict with the Yugoslav People's Army and Serbian paramilitary forces. The war resulted in significant human suffering, displacement and destruction. International Recognition and Post-War Reconstruction The international community, witnessing the humanitarian crisis in Croatia, eventually recognized its independence. The Dayton Agreement in 1995 brought an end to the conflict, but the scars of war ran deep. Croatia faced the daunting task of post-war reconstruction, both in terms of physical infrastructure and the healing of societal wounds. The country embarked on a path of political and economic reforms, seeking integration into Euro-Atlantic institutions, European Union accession and modern Croatia. Croatia's journey towards stability and prosperity culminated in its accession to the European Union on July 1, 2013. Joining the EU represented a significant milestone for Croatia, symbolizing its commitment to democratic values, rule of law, and economic development. While challenges persist, the EU membership has opened new opportunities for Croatia, fostering closer ties with its European neighbors. Contemporary Challenges and Cultural Resilience in the 21st century, Croatia grapples with contemporary challenges such as economic disparities, corruption and demographic issues. However, the resilience of the Croatian people and their commitment to preserving their cultural heritage provide a source of strength. The country continues to showcase its rich traditions, from the historic city of Dubrovnik to the vibrant festivals celebrating folk music and dance. The history of Croatia is a tapestry woven with threads of triumphs, tribulations and resilience. From the ancient Illyrians to the present-day European Union member, Croatia's journey has been shaped by diverse influences, conflicts and cultural intermingling. The nation's ability to navigate through centuries of change, retaining its unique identity, reflects the strength of the Croatian spirit. As Croatia moves forward, it carries the weight of its history while embracing the promise of a future intertwined with the broader European community.